Hey everybody, we're back to do the reassembly of this uh, Nokia Lumia Icon 929. Um, one of the first things we're going to start with is these ribbon cables down here. It has a little guide holes to line up. Um, it doesn't have any protruding posts to stick them on, but so you can just use that as a guide of where to put them back onto the device at. Now it may actually be easier to put these back on once you have the logic boards back in. Um, I'm just, this is my first time reassembling the device, so it may just be a little bit tricky, a little bit of a learning lesson for it. Hopefully you can use my mistakes as your gain uh, when you're reassembling your device. Just going to go ahead and try to push these down just a little bit, make sure they're nice and straight. One of the first items we're going to go ahead and put back in is the lower microphone. Um, just make sure it lines up. There are two little guide posts to put this back onto. Um, they're very small, so just make sure they line up correctly. Uh, you can't really mess this one up. The square microphone hole is at the bottom. Just insert it, and then make sure the guide posts line up so the connectors will fit from the charge port on the back side of the logic board. Next item is the vibration module. I put the silicone cover back on and it has a little bit of a Y down at the bottom so you can go ahead and push back into the back side of the device. You can push the vibration module and the, psych the little silicone cover will need to go um, on the inside of the little slide that slot that it fits into. So just make sure you take your time to make sure that the silicone cover uh, guides back into place properly. Use my pry tool to press down a little bit, get some pressure on the remaining adhesive and put it back into place. The next step is the headphone jack. We're going to push the front in first and then tip it and slide it back down into place. One trick is a little ribbon cable that's on the side of the device uh, does try to go over the walls of where the, three, the headphone jack is supposed to be. It needs to go on the inside of those walls. So make sure that you push it in um, when we slide it back in. Be careful not to damage or break the cable. Once you got that in place, you can go ahead and stick that back down on as well. Almost everything from here on out has a little guide holes just to make sure that it fits back in onto the correct position on the device as well. We have our logic board here, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reconnect our camera. You can see how the connector folds over on top of itself, so make sure that you're connecting it just like this. <clears throat> the cable will connect on, and then it will fold back over itself, and then point back towards the rear portion of the device. Now this part's a little bit tricky. What you want to do is um, make sure the pin lines up on the top portion of the motherboard. There's a little bit of a, a pressure connector where the board needs to fit in at the top of the frame as well. You need to wiggle it back and forth. Make sure you get all the connectors out from underneath the logic board. Just going to wiggle it back and forth and see if I can't get it to go in the correct spot. See that my little antenna cable here popped back out. So we're going to push that back underneath, wiggle it back again and see if we can't get it back into its correct spot. This little antenna cable down here did the same thing. And this is why it might be a little bit easier just to put that in at the end rather than at the beginning. Make sure that everything snaps down into place. There's the clip down here at the bottom right where my thumb's at. Make sure that you push that down and the logic board will kind of clip back into where it should be. You can go ahead and put our cable connector back on since it will snap onto the logic board now. Just be nice and careful as you're reapplying these cables. You want to use an easy to firm pressure. You don't want to force it on. These are really easy to bend and break.
We'll go ahead and put this connector down from the side antenna back onto the logic board as well. Go ahead and snap down the LCD connector. Like I was saying, just be very gentle. You don't want to bend any of these pins on the logic board as it could end up uh, ruining your device. Now this little glued on adhesive portion here, you want to line up. You want to push it a little bit further back than uh, the opening. There's some little um, looks like resistor chips on it. Push it back from that just a little bit so make sure that it, the little wire connector can connect to it. The next step is to go ahead and put back in the SIM card tray. The water sensor goes facing upwards. You can see there's two little guide clips on the back of the SIM card slot here. They need to fit properly back onto the slide tray. This little board is kind of confusing. Make sure you put the little gold connectors back in and then push down and clip it back into its slot, kind of like a door on a hinge angle. Once you get that snap back into place, just double checking to make sure. You can go ahead and put down your little cable connectors here. black connector has been a little bit funky so I'm just giving it an eyeball to see where the connector is located at. Definitely don't want to damage the device. Alright, everything's looking good so far. You can put in our front-facing camera. You want to make sure that this is nice and flush in its ports. It'll kind of want to wiggle and sit in an angle. Uh, if you just use a spudger to kind of make sure it's nice and flat in there. Go ahead and put down your cable connector back onto the logic board as well. Now one thing that I did not do that I would suggest doing at this point is double checking your buttons on the side of your device, your home, or I mean your power. I'm gonna go ahead and put the SIM card slot back in here as well. Make sure you check your volume, your power, and your camera button to make sure they're all depressed and they feel good. Um, the logic board um, at this point will be starting to screw into place, and if you don't want to have to disassemble your entire device, just to get back to those two buttons. We go ahead and put our battery back in. We can put down the connector for the battery as well. Put our adhesive back on over the chips and onto the battery as well. Go ahead and take our board. Now you can see that I'm sliding in from the side and then at the top and then pushing it down. It's because there's two connector clips that sit in. Once you've done that, you can press down on the sides of your device at the bottom and it'll go ahead and snap kind of back into place. The next step is to go ahead and put in all of our screws. We'll go ahead and start on the side of the device, the bottom corner, and go ahead and work our way around and up to the top. All of our charge ports are back in, so we're going to go ahead and put the bottom corner in. The one thing that you can try not to forget is the silver battery connector. You want to make sure you put that on. That way if you drop your phone, your battery does not come disconnected from your logic board. It's always a scary thought when you drop your phone and it goes black. 
we're going to put our connector back on. We're going to put it in like a hinge, put the um, bottom non-screw side in first and then push down on the screw side. That'll make sure it connects properly. And go ahead and put our torque screw in there. Go ahead and hold that down. Go ahead and finish off the remaining screws on the device. All right, we're almost done with all the screws. It's a looks like one more to go here. Making sure that I put that adhesive down, just kind of squishing it down off the back side of my screwdriver. We're gonna go ahead and take the back cover. I could install the bottom side of it first. Let's go ahead and slide it down. Then you can go ahead and work your way up down the sides. Let's go ahead and clipping it back into place. It'll snap all the way around. Some of the snaps are a little bit tricky. They don't want to go down, so give them a fair amount of pressure. And I found that if you press in the middle of the device, you'll get some extra clicks in there as well. All right, we'll go ahead and moment of truth, power the device on. Perfect, so it's powering on, so everything should be functioning for us. We'll go ahead and give it a second and we'll test the display to make sure that it's still responding back to touch. I really hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video. I'm really hoping to get a, a Nokia 930, the newest version of this Lumia icon, um, for uh, with a cracked display so I can go ahead and replace it. If that happens, I'll go ahead and put the link down in the description. You guys can uh, watch that video. I'll just label it part two and part three. Um, this last video here would be part four for the remaining assembly as well. Perfect, so it's powering on for us. We've got um, our SIM error because there is no SIM card in it. Go ahead and close that out. Make sure it's responding to touch back and forth. And it's doing great. Excellent. Well, as always, thanks for watching, you guys. And I hope I'll catch you on my next video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to me as well.